looking skinny like a model with your eyes all painted black. Just keep going to the bathroom and say you'll be right back. Well, okay, I need to get dressed now. <laughs> Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the tickets now. I'll have an extra one in case you change your mind. Warren! <laughs> Warren! Okay. Okay. Talk about being in the Sancto Sanctorium. Thanks, Latin class. I barely passed of Blackwell. I did feel freaking weird about being in the principal's office after midnight going through his files and laptop with Chloe. She was way too into it. Technically, we could be arrested and thrown in jail. Yikes. I just pretended that we were on a very special episode of the Wizards of Waverly Place. You know, just a couple of wacky Sherlocks investigating the school for a good cause. Yeah, that helped. Well, we didn't find the proof, we found Nathan's file had a weird drawing in it that just said Rachel in the dark room over and over, so that's a major clue that Nathan is involved in this somehow, or he's just insane. But his note also referenced David M, which means that we absolutely have to find a way into David's secret bunker files for a good cause. But Chloe just can't help herself, she actually wanted to take five grand in cash marked handicap fund, cause that's gotta be legit, am I right? I can't think of a faster route to karma hell, but it would have paid off Chloe's debt to Frank. I stopped her, but it kind of bothers me that Chloe can be so selfish like that. I'm not going to let anything happen to her, but I can't just let her do anything she wants. Mad Max? More like Mommy Max. Despite all the usual breaking and blowing up office hijinks, Chloe decided that we needed more than anything was to take a night swim in the otter's lair. I was so giddy and rebellious, I was like, oh yes, we shall swim. We didn't completely skinny dip, but close enough to get in big trouble no matter what. I don't know why we were so careless after being so careful. I love that Chloe brings out the just don't give a fuck side of me, even if that hasn't always served her well. She deserved a moment of not giving a shit, me too. Just two friends goofing around in the pool. I fear those youthful shenanigans might soon be a thing of our past. God, I'm starting to sound like one of the teachers at Blackwell. Chloe and I had a nice chat about our lives since I left. We talked about dumb boys and girls, why they're trouble, especially for me. I feel like a groupie when I talk to Chloe about our life experience. She has me so beat. I take pictures, she takes action. Speaking of action, we had to seriously bounce when security showed up. Duh, how quiet could we be in the swimming pool? Plus, after leaving a trail of our Blackwell handiwork, it was so intense and exciting to get past the security guards. They had serious spotlight power, so it wasn't exactly easy to stealth our way past, especially as we had to bail on Chloe's junker. But like I said, intense and exciting. Hella like Chloe Price. I don't think I'll be washing today. <laughs> Man, if I had stayed hidden, David wouldn't be targeting me. No. And if you promise to stay conscious, I'll try and do this. Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Chloe doesn't seem too upset she didn't take that money from the handicapped fund. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Max. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. <sighs> Time to put on your daily armor, Max. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Can I check out the news on this old laptop? Oh, at least we haven't been identified yet. 
Police and fire departments responded to a break-in and vandalism on the Blackwell Academy campus around 1.30 a.m. Police have not stated if they have any suspects yet. Police arrested a nude man with a sword at Up All Night Donuts off Pecking Path Road at approximately 8.52 p.m. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and metamethanates. <laughs> metamethanates. Oh, he was being held without bail pending further investigation. Oh. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Following a public suicide threat at Blackwell Academy, Kate Marsh is reportedly in a stable condition under supervision at Acadia Bay Med Center. No information is available at this time. So they must have sent it out to all the students. Hey, can you play that again? <laughs> it is a good song. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Mm. Burgers, please come back. And condoms? And bus tickets? I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. Did you have a boyfriend? So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. <laughs> Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Hmm. Hey, lazy ass, put some clothes on. <laughs> then we can scarf the awesome breakfast Joyce is cooking up. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. <laughs> Your fashion hole? Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. No, oh, that's not what I meant. Sorry, not that easy. That is not what I uh, meant. Like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. Oh, God. I'm so going to best unfriend you for that. I love that Chloe is so fearless. Rewind! <laughs> Find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay. <gasps> Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me.
Looking what? sick, Max. <laughs> a couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. <laughs> Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Max, thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school, the only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, Kate. Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I'll visit you as soon as I can, I promise. That's like, she's supposed to have all these friends and she keeps saying Kate's the only one, I mean, Max is the only one who was there or believed her. Check out Mad Max, <laughs> ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. You should probably smell like chlorine right now, which means you should probably take a shower, because that's gross. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. What's <laughs> ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. <laughs> Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. Are you still here? No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Why haven't you been let out? Like, has nobody noticed? Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Or do they? For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. <laughs> Ew. This might be the one time these people are right. The end is now. The signs are upon you. Save your soul. Repent. We looked at these. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Not really. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Ugh. I mean, Max. Who oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Pancakes? I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problemo. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. <laughs> Wowzer, Chloe still eats the same cereal. Now for the mother's milk. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. 
Splash snow and freak, freak eclipse apocalypse soon. Super heroine saves suicidal Blackwell student. Who drinks beer this early around here? Did I say supercidal? Or <laughs> what did I say? I don't even know. Uh, words. Oh, jeez. Can you help me get this bird out of here? Uh-huh. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Window open. Where's the bird? Do you fly out? Okay, I can't go in the garage. But I opened the window, so maybe. I want to make sure we have looked all around before we... Ah! Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. How did that happen? Another one? I wonder how these birds died. What the hell? Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. Doesn't make any sense. Sitting in a swing always feels so comforting. In the yard of dead birds. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. <laughs> Don't like the dead birds. I did open the window. I don't know if the bird flew out, but I- Oh, it's- Okay, no. I thought it was on her head for a second. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but- we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is smart. She always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Mm-hmm. Admit it. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Did the bird leave? I feel like I need to make sure. Oh. Looks like a message. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know <gasps> stepdaughter's car was identified 
near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? No. 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 Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Did the bird... Okay. I guess the bird came down. Alright, let's just take a seat, shall we? Number one dad. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Yeah. Well, crunchy's good too. I guess nobody waters the- Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. <laughs> good, you can clean. Crunchy peanut butter is good. Now that's what I call pancakes. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Oh, sorry, Max. Didn't mean to go through your head. You getting a picture book? Seeing you again. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. <laughs> you have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? <laughs> it's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Feed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Chill. No one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. <laughs> I do need to get into David's computer. Hold on, hold on. What He's else is gotta here? be hiding shit. What else is in here? Is that it? Just the laptop? There's nothing else? Okay, fine, I guess. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? <laughs> Try again. I need more clues. Clues, clues, clues. Comfort? Nope. Nothing to see here. Just food. Lots of food. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. No, it's not that. Happy sweet 18. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Hmm. How about a wedding date? Hmm. 
nothing in it. Stepdad is not the password. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think that's it. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. I could try the license number for the password. No. Don't think so. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Probably not. Don't like any of those. Those are all bad passwords. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Coming back home, a veteran's guide. Sounds like he needs it. Anything else? David has been dragging his head around since 2001? <laughs> I don't think 2001 is it either. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. Love to talk with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce, if you forgot. Aw. It might be a useful password. Okay, is this... What is this? 112708. All right, that, that is useful. 112708. I like that better. 112708. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. It is. What did I say it was? 112708? That's cute. Could be a password here. 11-27-08. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Just married. 11-27-08. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Hmm. All right, let's try, let's try the winner here. Personal. Single shot, that's not it. Family? There we go. Score, Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Rachel's been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory, followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called in to question Ms. Amber, who responded with threats and denial. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. See a patch, attached page for details. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Overheard Kate and Dana W. talking about supplies for Vortex Club party. Drugs. Watched Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs. No. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club Party, not even church drugs. No, David. <laughs> Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran guilty. No, David. No. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. So he has your ID and your schedule? Ugh. Grab that or tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Can you turn it off? Can you Whoa, at least, like, log out? Alert. 
Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Because he thinks she was dealing drugs. Like, he thinks everybody's dealing drugs. Everything okay in here? You look a little upset. Oh no. Nice breakfast. David, you, you're back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little <laughs> shit ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. You know it's so not hers! on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Come on, dude. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I'm not rewinding that. I'm not siding with David. Oh, or I... I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Sorry, Joyce. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? She knows. She knows his his failings. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. <laughs> Don't worry. Are we leaving now? All right, girl. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. He's sitting right there. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. 
I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Hmm. What the hell is this? Ugh, gross. I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. Oh, nasty shit. <laughs> Oh, another bird! What is going on here? You can possibly hear my cat. He's very happy on my lap. Oh god, more birds. Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? Holy shit. Okay, nothing to say about that one. Ah. Oh. This is so creepy. More flyers? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later, Max. Oh, hold on. Maybe I should pay attention. Another bird. Frank's RV. Okay. Even though my body smelled like I'd been doused in chlorine, it was so nice to crash in Chloe's room for the first time in five years and wake up next to her like our old sleepovers. For some reason, it reminded me of the time we were going to TP one of the neighbor's houses, and we even snuck out, but got chicken and ran back home laughing all the way. I remember waking up the next day and Joyce was making one of her delish breakfasts downstairs, and Chloe smiled at me like we were in the most secret club in the world, or at least Arcadia Bay. We were pirates, damn it. After our academic espionage last night, I felt the same way. It's just that now the stakes are much higher and much more dangerous. I even ended up in some of Rachel Amber's clothes since mine were trashed, a band tee and ripped jeans. So not me, but I haven't found my style yet, so why not have some fun experimenting with a new outfit? Speaking of experiments, Chloe dared me to kiss her, so I did. She probably thought I'd wuss out why. It wasn't that big a deal, though it was cute the way she was kind of embarrassed after and said she would tell Warren. Besides, I think Chloe sees Rachel Amber in her future. When I went down to breakfast, Joyce actually called me Rachel, which just seems so wrong considering how beautiful she is and how boring I am. I guess my new outfit really is working its magic. I ended up helping Joyce make breakfast just like when I was a kid on a sleepover. It's odd how quickly you can fall back into an old routine. So I must have set off Joyce's nostalgia mode since she busted out ye old photo album. I'm one of the few people who loves checking out old pictures. What was that Alfred Hitchcock line about film being pieces of time, like Mr. Jefferson said, so are photographs. I do think she wanted me to see her new husband in a better light when David was happier, laughing with Joyce in a picture I wanted to say, and who is that? Plus, I'm sure it's no accident there was a photo of Rachel wearing the exact same clothes I had on. She truly is stunning and somehow looked more punk rock than Chloe. The truly heartbreaking image was the last photo William Price ever took, Chloe and I making pancakes in the kitchen. Joyce really misses that joyful, optimistic girl. I know she's still there. When Chloe smiled at me this morning, I saw her. The picture seemed to sum up everything we had as children and lost as adults, whatever being an adult means. Which was a perfect cue for Chloe to bounce into the room and start shit with Joyce. This gave me cruel cover so I could sneak into the garage and finally unlock David Madsen's extreme files. 
So today I finally found out what was in David's secret files and I admit I expected it to be worse. I'm relieved that it wasn't. So maybe I'm going easier on him than I should. No surprise that he had detailed files on Kate and Rachel listing their whereabouts along with surveillance pics. David isn't off my shit list yet, but he's a damn good investigator, I'll give him that. It's clear that Frank and Rachel had some kind of relationship, and I don't think Chloe is going to be very happy to hear that. She needs to start waking up, we all do. When David came home, things escalated quickly. He looked more upset than usual, but shrugged when he saw me wearing Rachel's clothes. He was so on edge. Maybe I'll never get to see the David that Joyce loves so much. She and Chloe really let him have it, though. This was the first time I saw them bond since we were kids. Suddenly I couldn't take it anymore either and I kind of blew up. It was like a torrent that felt awesome. I've been wanting to rip into David like that myself for a long time. I figured worst case scenario, hello rewind power, but I wanted Joyce to know the depth of his weird paranoia. She looked so sad and angry when I told her about the photos of Rachel and Kate, not to mention the home surveillance. Joyce kicked his ass out of the house to Chloe's glee.